Okay, so uh, yesterday I got the very basics of uh, the graphics environment creation, logical device, physical device, and instance for a <clears throat> Vulkan. But before I move any forward, what I need is, because right now to check things, I'm basically hitting, making breakpoints and checking them in the debugger. I need to I need some kind of logging system in place to be able to actually output whatever's going on easily to you know, console command, console out, output, or others, file output and what have you. For that, I need to create some kind of logging mechanism. Um, so to do that, First of all, I'm going to create a very general like library, which is going to hold a bunch of miscellaneous things, including uh, probably logging, some other random assortment of things that really like like a uh, utility or miscellaneous kind of uh, code pieces that really don't really belong as part of the core or part of the actual engine application. I'm going to try, like, the idea is to keep the Apple actual application super thin and have most of the logic in libraries externally. So, first things first is info I'm going to require. Uh, include directory, spelled correctly, source, uh, list.txt to start with. Uh, we'll copy it from you. Do, 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 do. Bam, bam. It's just info. Bam. We don't need this. We don't need this. I will probably require something, but not quite yet. Um, rename correctly. Don't need this either. We'll need a dependency, but not quite yet. And we'll need to make sure it's actually added to the build system add subdirectory. Okay. So we got this, then we're gonna require txt here. Wait, hold on. Wrong place. Here. Sources. Let me put start files here. So, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to create a subdirectory log for the moment, anyways. Uh, so, the thing is, what do we want? Levels, I suppose. Gonna want uh, like an enumeration enum enum set indicating first of all that guards Is it really an int? It probably isn't. Um, so log levels none equals zero. Like there's just no. I'm not. Hmm. What else? Do go from worst. Do I go from like most lenient to? Hmm. No. Okay, we'll go from sphere to less descending. Morning info. We'll have at the end 
something like that. And we'll have like debug, which is a level even beyond all this. Increasing values so that when I create a log, I'll set like a, um, the logger will only accept like, let's say warning and less or warning and lower, I should say. I don't want to like have verbose or debug information in all in all locations, in all runtimes. So we'll do this like log level. I think we'll get rid of this, and we'll have uh, something that kind of space. You kind of put like a um, two string specialization for because it is a class. It'll be a distinct type in the system. So this should work. And we'll say in here, Uh, we need string, don't we? And then this will allow me to actually start compiling this in. one for the otherwise, but that should never happen. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small macro. X. It would be like case. Um. string of x like that and then we could just instead of specifying them we'll just say add level of uh, fatal oh. error warning info verbose and debug I'm assuming here, oh, just to add the uh, none is not handled. Okay, we'll just make it so that at the very minimum, all fatal objects are accepted. There should be no case for none. Mm -hmm. Actually, oh, I'm here. 
Uh, do I just have like all warnings? Unused variable. Oh, I do have some things to <sighs> deal with. It's not used. Okay, well, uh, I'll look at that later. Because at the moment, these guys will be set. So those are the log levels. What I want to do is... Mm, log... Err... Yeah, okay, I'll just go with that. Uh, log logger. I'm thinking of... Uh, I'll just make this a class. Oh, come on. We'll have a static return of the global logger. Because I really don't want to have played too heavily with um, this. It has to be just super simple to use. Um, logging logs void uh, full log level and then a string view of the message and we want to make sure that this is synchronized a little bit whoops Unless we don't. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll just make a simple implementation right now, just to make sure that we can create something that's global, accepts logs, spits them out. So, um, log logger. Accept. Uh, to uh, bring in from for now include the stream and we're going to just say into the error stream to string whoops of a level in the message. And we'll just end it like that. 
Um, on the destruction of the object, we want to make sure we flush this. Just a flash, there is just a flash. We also require a logger star. Or we just Turn the one and only, I guess. Do mm. want to make it like I could just leave it inside like this? Global logger, and global logger. Well, I'm just going to stick these in a subdirectory like this. Somewhat match the includes. TXT. Devil and logger. CPP. This is instead an add subdirectory for the moment of log. Okay. Let's uh, add him to this like that. Do so log logger I just want to log um, instance log um, level yeah info or just debug. What a, it doesn't matter. I'm just about to. World. Run it. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Seems to work okay. But I want to make it a bit more fully fledged because right now it's just outputting the standard error loud, uh, standard C error, the error stream, the error output. I want to put it into more than just that location, but I also don't want to have it in all those locations by default. I want to be able to choose what to, when, where to output this stuff. So, do I do sinks? Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, I probably want to... Do I really want to do that? I'm trying to think as to whether or not I want to split this logging mechanism up a bit more. Adding more complexity is something I don't really need right now. But, yeah. Hmm. I want to do... Mm. Okay. Maybe I can do like a category system. Kind of split it up from a, just a global logger with just levels to levels and categories. Like with uh, error codes. Yeah, like error codes actually. I can probably work with that. And each category can have its own log level accepted at any one time. Yeah. So you can choose which subsystems to pay more to have higher logging of. Yeah, that makes sense. Or, and being able to change it at compile time as well. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I can, I th yes, categories. Category HPP. So log category. Um, I need the log level. Category. So, like in a error category or standard error code, is there? Hold on. Do do do. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course I would do that. Yes, uh... Okay, uh, standard error code. Um, or error category, there we go. Get the name out. Category message, hmm. Okay.
grew, I guess. Category. We'll just do member and uh, member minimum. Well, no, 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 no. We'll just category. We'll need a protected. We don't want ever anyone to be able to just create these things really. So log category. Uh, view to the category name. Entirely sure on these ones quite yet. I'll maybe I can just keep these guys public since they're created by. Oh no, but I want this one to change. Hmm. Keep him const. He changes. This guy's not moving anywhere, anyways. So. I'll think of it in a second. Add this. Bam. Category name. Or just category. Uh, min. Log level that equals that. You know, what, I'll just make these. Um, I don't even know, it's just a struct for God's sakes. Constant struct. We don't need this. Making it too complicated for some, for no good reason. Yes, it does exist. Um, So now he'll take in Okay. Now it takes in this. Like that. Uh, we now have a P category. Um, category name. Uh, just not even that, we'll just say name. The name of the category. Simple as that. And we'll, uh, we need to make. Um, Category. Okay. Dot name equals 
test category and dot min level equals foe log level all. And we add him to the log event. I probably want to do, okay, if we have these, then we probably want to be able to make, I want to be able to kind of um, scroll this away into something a bit easier. Instead of manually passing around categories, rather these categories should be like, um, If we, okay. Test category. So like this, and then we say, Um, sorry, log category. We say test cat of this is, hmm. I say like, oh, my name is all hmm, code log level all we just say that that it's a step closer it is a non static Are you sure? I'm pretty sure that's um Oh, uh yeah. Public that. Really, I can't Really, I can't, it, does it have to be like uh, this? Does, do I, can I not expand a struct? Name does not name, non-static data member or base class. Oh, do I have to be like this? No. Okay, do I, okay. Do I actually need to say something like this?
and then I say, you know, the base is this and this combined. Is this what's going on? That works. Okay. We'll do that then. Public or rather protected. I mean, it's got public anyways. I mm, like. Can I not then just like say name, name? Right after that, like. I don't understand why he can't figure out that this is. It can only be local objects, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Okay, if I do this, uh, get rid of... Um, Declare or definition? Okay. If I want to have, let's say, a compile level, which would have to be cross expression. Say the middle level that it will accept is let's say like error whatever. That's the minimal level. It should be like max level actually. Max compile level is that. So it'll, it'll only compile it fatal and error, but not things like warning and and below or above whichever way yeah above. In this case, specifically, hmm. Because this, okay, this is going to require some C plus plus chicanery with constant expressions, but. It should be fine. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make a macro for this, or actually. Let's see. Okay, let's try. So the, the, the faux log level, the compile level is separate from the actual level here. Right now we have. So we want like a. We need like an instance to, to bring this guy out.
Hmm. Okay, no, we do need static. Castle glory. Because this is the thing we'd pass into logging functions. That doesn't work. It needs to be like a static. Okay. I'm flying off the seat of my pants here. Okay, let's get the logging. If cost expression. Equals debug. Yes, 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 yes. Const expression. Um, faux log. It accepts category log level the message. Hmm. If cost expression static cast no do I, I yes I do because it's a a enum class cast of int I guess of log level is less than or equal to the category max compile level Then we go through with the compilation. And do faux logger instance da -da, log with the category instance. Yes, so we do need the instance. Category return and the category no category. There we go. The log level. And then message. The 
couple uh, more lines of this. Uh, it takes test category. Uh, it takes level of, let's say, error. Compile test. Okay, compile test should show up. Yes. If we put it into info. No, it does not. But if we change uh, this down to info, then it will show up because it'll then be compiled in. Yes. All right. To make this creation easier, I'm going to need a um, declaration type, probably. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, okay. The macro to define to foe declare. Category, which will take um, category name, and time default. default level, and the compile level. So it'll become like a class category, which will be public of just call. Okay, copy and paste that, but replace this uh, with this and this and that. that. Bam. Uh, runtime default level will be this. Compile level will be that. to use it for declare log category it'll be test category default and time will be all and the compile level will be error for the moment freak out about this no you're not so it's error compile time compiled out wonderful info and then it's there hmm This can be changed up. This can be made uh, private. So that only you can only create it through the instance guy. That'll be public. That'll be public. Change this into a class. Public. That's public, that's public. Mm -hmm. We can probably ch change this into like protected and private or... Mm. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to keep these as just in, slid up into declare and define or just leave it as declare. Because I think if I... Hmm. More stuff to link around. I mean, if it's in, used in multiple files, if a category is used in more than one file, it'll be, they'll have to be a... The link will have to figure out a single definition location anyways. So I may as well just make it a little bit easier for um, uh, compilation. Define log category, which will be, I think I would just have the category name and that'll be a category. And it'll be basically these two. If we hmm okay yeah 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 yes move these guys over like that and add him. What's this initial level? It's the constructor. Um, next level. We'll say it's a category this, category that, category that. We'll then remove these guys. And instead, he'll be like standard string view category equals uh, not category. Did it say category? It should be um, hash category for string. And then uh, next level equals this. Like that. Uh, that's just a declaration. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. Nice. So by that thing, I'll then have to define test cat like this. Almost. If cost expression Okay, let's go up. Unknown type max level. Yes. Need to actually pass these guys in. Nested uh, specifier log level da, 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 does not refer into a class. Uh, mm, really?
Oh, no, no, no. This guy has to be def defined up here. Because he's a const expression. But I can have the instance in the category, though. Because this guy will just compile into... Uh, whoops. Category. Uh, no, I don't even need that. Since he's a const expression, he'll be evaluated at compile time. Hopefully. So he'll just, like... This entire function will just be edited out of existence. It'll just be replaced by... Uh, if it's always used in the const expression like this, it'll just be compiled to like, th th this will compile to nothing. It'll just be this statement that's left over without moving it around, without moving any of the letters around. Stop stealing. Okay. What's going on here? Is there like another guy way over here? No. Nested names. Expanded from macro to find log category here. Uh, must be looking at the wrong one. Calling private constructor of test cat. You're right, you should not be, um, because it's just all done through this instead. It's not an actual stack object anymore. Not static function, max compile time. Is it not static? Really? Oh, yes, you're right. Uh, test cat instance Ooh. like that. that up to warning compiles that guy out entirely yep if we're using this full log mechanism anyways So what we're going to want to do is move these guys out. What I'm thinking of is rather than having to like the average if log rather than most people having to actually know uh, Having to like actually pull in all these log sub headers, just pull in the this one, just plain fo log, which will have the macros. Should keep things just a little bit easier. It's got the def declaration definition of the fo log categories, like that. And the log, which is the main interesting thing here.
Now, uh, if, what am I? Um, let's save that. So right now, I'm doing. Uh, Okay, for shared libraries, I need to export a couple of things. Need to export that. Do we need to export these guys? Oh yes, that's right. Standard string on mic on um, Microsoft system is going to cre just crap out super bad because. It's going to be complaining about exporting like an actual class definition instead of just an object. So I need to, I, I, in order to work on that better, I need to, because I don't want to export the entire class. I just want to export what's needed. So I will actually need to kind of change these out to a um, functions. I mean, on, in a static environment, yeah, of course, it's going to be uh, uh, it's going to be no problem. But I'm not going. To, I'm going to try to keep things working in both static and shared environments for as long as humanly possible. So that if I keep the flexibility. Even though I know that's uh, antithetical to most development strategies, just to design for what you have to, but hmm. I do not want to have problems with that. So, full export that, that, this level. Because it is a private, I'm going to put this stuff on it. Just do that. Okay, and then we'll just, uh, no, we just need these three. Like that. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And then we say you. Stay there. You. 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 line declaration really ah yes it's declaration or definition can I sign Non-static member within const member function. Oh yes.
And then logger requires exports as well. That, and that. These symbols need to go out. That also means probably. Uh, I'll need to have an export for uh, shared log types as well. Declare shared with export. And we'll class export, we'll just export that. Export that. And that's it. We just need to export those two. We don't need to export private function. think it's um at the bottom of this we'll just say like yeah we'll just um declare a general log category which accepts all and all and then later on we'll define a definition so you can modify the compile level i guess all all no, because all would include cat debug, wouldn't it? Hmm. Not exactly sure what to do with debug. If I even want, do I really want a debug level? You know what? I'll just get rid of debug level for the moment until I can. Think of a proper use for it. Okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. If we're here, just a board. Should never be outside of any of these. And then we'll undefine that afterwards as well. So we don't accidentally bleed it out somewhere else. So that should mean um, we'd also require fo define category general. Okay. Now, because this is a shared, if I was to try to use the general log for this, it's going to freak out because it can't find the symbol. So if I go, I've got too many items. Close to the right, log HPP. We'll change him to be shared. So export. Like 
that. And now we can find it. It'll come out with a general log. Yes. Okay. That's good. That is good. That is pretty a okay. This okay. We'll just kind of like uh, just say this is the initial implementation. Let's preferences git warn. I want it always on. Thank you. Right? No? There we go. The setting logging levels and categories. Now, do we wanna, mm, you know, I should probably actually add just a little verb on these guys, yeah, these things. So. this up Let's see what documentation we get for this documenting macro functions with oxygen hmm Okay, that doesn't really. Whatever. Um, param.
Maximum log type compiled. Yeah, okay. Do the kind of same thing down here. Export. So most of the time, to my mind, most of the time, it'll be static. They'll, they'll just be like, just within, it'll be like a graphics log, they'll be just within graphics, in which case you can use this one. But in certain cases, such as this one, where it's shared, like in this, like this general one, which will be shared by, you know, uh, into everyone who pulls in this library, then you have this one. But this is a much rarer case than this one. Especially since these ones should be able to just have their symbols erased at run uh, compile time or at link time. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, just added some documentation, which is good. I don't even need this because this thing is never destroyed, deleted because it's, I don't think it's ever even used, so. Category, name, max level, da, da, da. this is all very basic, well not basic, but obvious stuff. It doesn't even have, it, it, it. I wish the Clang D could actually get a better handle on all this stuff.
Like, is... I mean, it's there. Not really doing... Quite the greatest job, is it? Okay. Okay, initial part of the log. Now, I want to modify logging to be a little bit smarter. Because right now, all it accepts is just a string view. Which isn't really what I'm... It's not great. That's what I'm trying to say. I want to do something like, uh, almost like fprintf. Rather than just having a, uh, just a plain old string that's formatted elsewhere, I want to have, because especially if, um, I want to have like, uh, I'll find it again, this, where we can like have a bunch of log messages compiled out. I want to be able to have like the message just kind of internally here. And of course, if you're not using it, then like all the stuff that goes into it just gets canned and never and not used whatsoever. Preferably. Hmm. But I don't want to use fprintf. Or do I? Um, uh, whatever way. I need a variadic template type. Or um, a variadic message. So it'll be... I believe it'll... It's not this, is it? No, it can't be. Ah, it's... Uh, a args underscore underscore just like that okay by default right now there'll be nothing there But if I was to modify this with a, I don't know, percent s, and then we have the second string asd. This is going to be going pointing to absolutely nothing because there's only that one. Meaning I need to create a variadic templated or template. Templated, template, hmm, types. So in addition to this original one, which is exported, we'll need a uh, template right, name, da, 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 arts. I believe is variadic arguments. Okay, this is the uh, for C. Oh, it's a variable template. No. 
parameter pack? Is that what it's called now? Hmm. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Yeah, type name dot dot dot, ts dot dot dot, okay. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to use printf. I want to use a better one, which is um, format library. I believe is what it's called. This guy. Which is supposedly like going to be implemented in C++. Oh, wait, is this already actually in? Okay, if this is already in the standard then I won't actually use ISO cpg.org. Let's actually see who has it. Uh, Compiler performance. Format, text formatting. Nobody has it. I presume that's, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's 20, it's nearly the end of 2020. It's something that no one's touched at all. Well, there's a full implementation on GitHub. I guess... Um, is, is there like... Um, is there like a licensing issue? Uh, what are you? Uh, draft license from a year ago. Okay. So I don't see an issue with that. So I can... So I'll use format library until such time as this exists on the other platforms. moment we'll just use the basics um, uh, yeah that's great okay that looks pretty straightforward So it becomes like log t category level format of message hold on um args step dot 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 args And then we have args. This will just, this will um, take the large thing and compile it down into the gist, and then it'll pass it on to this guy. And this guy will be embedded at the call site. If he's an inline function, typically an inline function, 
I don't, do I need to? I don't think I need the FOA. I need to export an inline function. Um, I need to pull in the format library. F M N O F M T. Right, because it's not using that, it's using the Python. -y. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and then, did I do it here? Yeah, okay. So let's see if we can do that here. One, two. A lol, and then we have a large S number, point F. Yep. Uh, we can also get rid of the test category. Um. Verbose info. I even need like I don't even need a semicolon for that. No. Main loop. Right now, I think I have it set for all. Yeah. Exporting it do anything? I don't know, I really don't think so. Stronger, better. Then also be which can also then be compiled out. Now, as to why I was doing this. Let us pull in 
<clears throat> Is there anything else I want to do for the logging? I kind of wanted to do like a sync mechanism so I can output it to like a developer console or a or to a file. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I will just leave it at that. I'll just leave it at that for the moment.